porting. Although motocross is my main interest, I know there's a lot of people that modify engines to get better top RPM horsepower or to shift the RPM range higher for even more power for racing. And for all those do-it-yourselfers, this video should be of interest to you. I'm going to show you the port map for my 48cc motorized bicycle engine. This is it right here. The exhaust port has 70%, 72% of bore width. The widths of the transfers are lacking compared to a modern race bike. They are like 19% less than what they should be for a race bike. So to compensate for that type of situation, you have to raise the transfers even more. This is the boost port because it has a reed valve. This is three different porting setups right here. This is what I started with. These list the hot durations. My porting calculator calculates the hot durations, which means the, the port durations it has once the engine gets up to temperature because the conrod stretches more than the cylinder does, which brings the piston higher, which lessens the durations, usually about two degrees on the exhaust and about three degrees on the transfers. This is my porting calculator. And it will take the exhaust port uh, width every one millimeter down. This is right here. And calculate using the, the port area and the time that area is opened every 2.5 degrees of crank rotation. And it gives these three graphs right here. This is the horsepower graph. This red line, when it is below 1.0, which is this horizontal line right here, indicates the percent of overlap the exhaust pulse has over the transfer's opening. So in this situation at 8,000, the, the number associated with the red graph is 0.92, which means it has an 8% overlap. In other words, um, the transfers will open 8% of its time till BDC before the, the exhaust pressure is low enough for the transfer to happen, for the transfer flow to go into the cylinder because the, the crankcase pressure is only like 5 PSI. This graph right here, is the transfer capacity or the delivery ratio. And you can say that it's been going down from the ideal 1.0 since 4,500 RPM. That's not ideal. But still, the engine was able to rev up to 7.5K, which this is a section of that same graph. At 7.5K, you can see that the Exhaust overlap is 6%. The delivery ratio is uh, 69%. And so I wanted it to rev higher than 7,500 RPM. My target is 8,000. Knowing that the transfers are limited in width, I raised them from this this distance above the port to this distance above the port and it increased the transfer duration from 110 to 116 and unfortunately it gave me less peak rpm it gave 6800 rpm which at 6800 rpm we've got a seven percent overlap okay so, and the delivery ratio is 82%. So even though we increased from 69% to 82%, what was most important with this small engine, which the smaller the engine, the weaker it is, the more the little things affect it negatively, 
the most important thing for it is that overlap. So we're staying hovering right around 6 and 7%, okay? Okay, so that gives me the clue. All right, so I need it to have about 6 or 7% at 8,000. And I was able to achieve 6% by raising the exhaust port from 22.3 millimeters above the port to 21.4. And the delivery ratio is 76% versus the original 69%. You can see by looking at the horsepower graph that it starts out about the same on all three graphs. And these two get a nice... Nice hump. This is pretty linear right here. This has even higher. Up here is even higher. So I have no doubt it's going to get up to 8,000. Unfortunately, I broke the frame on my bicycle. <laughs> yes, I broke the frame. I'm, I'm pretty hard on it. So, yeah, I'm in the process of fixing that. And so I'm going to have to make a follow-up video to this one to... Uh, let you know exactly what RPM it went up to. But anyway, uh, without knowing the final outcome, I think this is this is pretty pretty relevant, and it's another good way to show you why a porting calculator is more than handy. Sometimes it's essential. It's also a great learning tool. I I continue to learn from it. Like this example right here, I'm I'm learning that this small engine really depends upon that overlap not being too much. So stay tuned. I'll let you know what RPM I got up to. Thanks for watching.